capital today, for us men of God today, for us husband today, for us wife today, for us young people today. We have to do what we're supposed to do. Because when we don't have God in our life, that's why we are doing what we're not supposed to do. And today I will talk on number five. And number five, believe in God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. Do you know that God is a faithful God? He's not a man to lie, nor a son of man to change his mind. Hallelujah. What he said to be done, it will be done. He said, my word that I said, it will not come to me void. It will not come to me not doing what's supposed to be done. When he said his word, when he said that you are the conqueror, or more than the conqueror, when he said that you are the head, that you are in front, that you are above, that's what he said. We need to believe that, my friend. We need to believe because he is a faithful God. The Bible says, Elijah said, go and collect vessels. Not just a few, no. Not just a few. That means go and collect a lot of vessels. Imagine those vessels to be filled up by this one jar of oil. One jar of oil. But because he's a miracle working God and because the word says go and collect not a few, plenty. That means the more they will collect, the more they will be filled up. Do you know that the blessings of God will continue to flow and will never end until there is no container, there is no room, there is no space for you to collect? Do you know that? Hallelujah. The Bible says that the oil in the jar cease when there is no other vessels. Hallelujah. God will continue to bless your life. God will continue to bless your family. God will continue to bless you until and unless there is no room. That you stop doing it. Hallelujah. Some of us we come from families. That our parents. That our grandparents. That our forefathers. They serve God. And until we continue to serve God. That poor or blessing will continue to come. And come. And come. And come to us. Some of us we are asking now. Why I'm facing this. Why my children are facing that. Just check again. Do you still have some spare vessels because that anointing will continue to flow and flow and flow and flow until you don't have any more vessels to give it to the Lord and the Bible says in 2nd King chapter 4 6 to 7 uh, it is in Fijian I will read it now Asa kaya buwa kukwaya. Sa senga tale na sanga a evo. Sa anga imundu. Sa anga imundu. Sa anga imundu. Hallelujah. Sa anga imundu na wai wai. Asa lako kukwaya katukuna buwa na tamata nikalu. Asa kaya kukwaya. Mo lako mo voli taka na wai wai. Ka sauma na no mundi nao. Donga imbula. Ke irau na lubemu. Ena kenavo. Do you know... That the oil will continue to run and run and run until you don't have any more container or vessel to collect the blessings of God. That means, remember, that means the oil still left at the jar. Kemebali se voti ko nga na wai wai e na tabaya. Sa senga nga na no mo container mo talang ya mai kina mo kauta mai mo rawata mai na kasa pag rawata ka tule kalu kina non daru mula. And the singer will not Do you know that God never ran out of anything? So when the Bible talks about the five foolish women and the five wise women, because the oil always represents the work of God, the Holy Spirit. When you have the word and no, there's no Holy Spirit, I tell you, one time that light, that light will die. That light will be off. Why? Because you don't have the Holy Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit, all the oil will continue. The things that you have will continue to burn and burn and burn and burn. The light from your face, the freshness of your life. Hallelujah. And you'll continue to walk and walk. Walk stronger. Move stronger. Go up and up. Move forward and forward because you have the bottle of oil, which is the Holy Spirit. Jesus